absolutely. So Brad, uh, final Apes of freaking lutely. Yeah, app. <laughs> you dirty, you dirty ape, you. No! What's going on, guys and gals, and welcome to Good Will Hunting. It's your boy Brad. The Brett Man is right over there. Today, we're going to be giving you a spoiler-free review for the new Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. It's the next movie in that franchise, Birdie. I'm excited to talk about this one, my friend. Brad, say that title three times. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes of the Birdie Boy of the Good Roll Hunting. Close enough. A lot better than I would have done. But yes, we are back at it. We're going to go freaking like and get... By the way, Brad, you get your hands off of this, you damn dirty ape. <laughs> I got to get that in there, man. I always got to get that line in there when I can. But yes, we are back in the world of the Planet of the Apes. This is Wes Ball who directed this movie. And just to first start it out... I want him to direct all of this brand new trilogy because they kind of keep up with that continuity. So this one kicks off. So this is set, you know, like this, this follows that trilogy, that Caesar trilogy that we got, you know, a few years back, except it's set several generations in the future. So it's completely new slew of characters. It's set in a world that is completely run by the apes at this point. There's very little, you know, proof of human existence. What's left is, you know, basically it's been deteriorated over time. It's been overgrown. You know, there's, there's little things, uh, you know, popping up across this movie that you see, like buildings and like, you know, stuff like that. I mm -hmm. thought that was really cool. Just when we we get into this world, it's like, you know, humans haven't haven't owned this world in a long time. And you can tell it like nature has taken over the world, uh, the planet. So I thought that was that was kind of a cool world to step into for a while. I mm -hmm. like that quite a bit. Um, and this story is kind of just telling how the apes can coexist with each other and the humans aren't as involved in this one. <clears throat> no, uh, it's kind of like uh, in the way the roles are reversed, like uh, you know how in the original, like the I, I can't, I kind of want to say original trilogy, but it's really not. But the previous trilogy is where the humans were speaking and the apes were silent, and then we just go vice versa at towards the end where the apes are speaking and the humans are slowly not speaking. This is kind of different here where the apes are mainly doing the talking and the one individual human, uh, which is Nova or Maya, whoever you want, however you kind of want to remember her in the movie. I kind of remember her as Nova since that's what the apes named her. Uh, it's just when she gradually grows it from going from silent to talking. So I thought it was an interesting dynamic, a new set of a direction to go within this brand new trilogy. And that's the other thing, Brad. I thought this was a very nice movie to set up that trilogy because that was my like my main concern like how in the world like what idea are they going to do to set up this trilogy to expand this story into three movies i definitely think they absolutely nailed it absolutely man because that they first things they had to establish a new set of characters to follow in the ape world because caesar you know his story was before you know he didn't make it at the end of those so now we're you know obviously and this is way down the this is way down the line so we have to set up new characters. And I was like, you can't really like match Caesar, can you? But they give us a new dude by the name of Noah who's running things here in this thing. And I loved him a lot. I thought he was a great protagonist. And mm -hmm. this is kind of his story, his coming of age story. And I thought he was great. Like from the opening where he's hanging out with his friends, like, you know, climbing up shit and stuff like Monkey all that around really monkeying around. Like, <laughs> all that was fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. No, um, dude, I like him too. Like, uh, no, I think he's did a very good job in, with a protagonist in a new trilogy. You gotta kind of like set his like uh, traditional ideas of what he believes in, and then towards the end of the movie, he has a whole never set of ideas, or he's questioning himself. And I felt like they left him off perfectly with that kind of mindset, or just to you know continue his character development. But definitely a great start, and that's uh, another thing they had to nail in this uh, startup of this trilogy you gotta have a protagonist you cared about and i'll tell you this i definitely care about noah in this movie i'm looking forward to seeing where they take his character and i think this was a perfect way to start like this hero's journey in this particular movie and it's a different approach than what we got from caesar but it's it's you know it's it's just as it could be just as satisfying on a completely different level because it's a two different mm -hmm. stories um mm -hmm. and not not only noah uh but the other dude uh uh roca and uh the, the the his little friend roca that he meets he's fantastic yeah the orangutan yeah the orangutan man i liked him i liked him a lot too in the movie um and the 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 villain too proximus caesar i thought he was awesome 
as well. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, with Proximus, like, does he look cool? Yes. Do we have, like, a kind of like he has a set of a direction? Yeah, but I'll be honest, Brett, I didn't feel like we really got enough of him. I feel like if we had more time to spend uh, with uh, Proximus, uh, I felt like he could have been a lot better villain. But I just kind of feel like a lot of times um, I didn't have that quality time with him. And that's like my main issue with this movie. I feel like the pacing was uh, very slow at some parts. I a lot of parts, they, they were like really rushing things when they don't need to rush it. Yeah, I really, I, I, I concur. I, I think... I really enjoyed like the first half of the movie and there were some good mm -hmm. things in the second half that I liked, but it was a bit slower uh, getting through some of that. But in general, no, I, I liked Proximus a lot, but he wasn't as good as Koba or like Woody Harrelson. Oh yeah. From a villain standpoint, but I still, I enjoyed him a lot. This movie had some of the best action sequences in the whole franchise here. Um, I mm -hmm. think as far as like with the, with the way the fights were shot and stuff like that. I mean, some of this stuff was really good. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, definitely like to go with that. Like, I thought the action was really good in this, so I do agree with you there. But I also like the unique camera angles that they used in this movie, especially on certain climbing scenes that they go like very unique directions with the camera. And I thought that was a nice touch to kind of give this particular trilogy a different identity from the previous trilogy. The other thing, too, I really liked in this is just the very realistic look of the apes. Again, mm. Why has this franchise, like, especially with the recent movies, why have they not been like nominated for Oscar and visual effects? I can't even begin to tell you why, because this is how you're supposed to be using CGI. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. It's, uh, motion capture technology stuff, man. It's really good. And yeah, uh, you said with the, the camera angles and stuff with you, they had a lot of long takes in there, too. Mm -hmm. um, now, granted, you're you're using CGI and stuff, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. It's um it, you know, some really good scenes with uh, some long take action sequences and climbing scenes and stuff like that and really complex stuff that they were putting together. So all that stuff really stood out to me. Yeah, absolutely. Freaking lootly do. But Brad, without really uh, going into more detail, like until we get that close to spoiler territory, is there anything else uh, that you want to say about the film? Uh, the only thing I was going to mention is that I didn't much care for the human side of things. I know that's not really ah, what this story interesting. is. Interesting. Okay. Um, I thought William H. Macy's character was kind of lackluster and I was unfortunate because I was really looking forward to seeing him in this movie. Um, and the main girl, uh, she was she was fine, but she didn't really have much um, to explore, I guess. So I think she's, you know, obviously things could change going forward. It's a good this is a base point. And again, this is more of an ape story. Mm -hmm. This is more of a Noah story. Um, right. But I, I would say compared to the other three movies, this one had the weakest human involvement but again where we're at in this story it, it makes sense but still that's just one thing to kind of consider yeah and the main girl i absolutely agree with you that uh she wasn't a big standout like i thought the actress did a very good job for what she was given to do but with how i think how this trilogy is going to go this movie like you perfectly said this is an ape driven story i bet you in the second movie we're going to get a lot more human activity in this one and then yeah. in the third one leads to my big idea what i think is going to happen but i can't talk about it just yet because that would be a spoiler for the movie so i'm not going to get that far but i do like the direction that this trilogy is going i am too i'm excited i think it's a perfect first movie to set it up and that's really all i have to say about that final thoughts about the movie and how would you rate this uh, overall it's really entertaining a great return to the franchise and i'm excited to see where they're going to go with it i'm going to give it a 4.25 out of 5 Dude, you freaking read my mind. It's a 4.25 for me as well. I think, again, we got a great point A. We really now need to deliver on point B. And from what I saw from uh, Wes um, in this, his uh, directing this film, I think we're off to a very good start in this particular trilogy of the Planet of the Ape uh, franchise. <laughs> Guys, I got to ask you all, what did you all think about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? Did you really enjoy this? Do you think this is the perfect first movie to start a brand new trilogy? Uh, or do you have some problems with it? Or do you not like the direction that this movie is going to go within this particular trilogy? Let us know in the comment section down below. Let's get that discussion rolling. And if you want to help us find the good reels, you can do so by finding us on all of our socials right down there in the description. They're right there for you to find. 
absolutely until then brad uh i am going to go uh because i see a lot of banana pudding over there and i'm pretty sure my mo pet monkey's trying to get after it so i gotta take care of that situation uh can't be uh monkeying Marcel. around over it no more yeah <laughs>